On May 25, 2020, George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, died after a white police officer holding his knee on Floyd's neck pinned him to the pavement while he was in handcuffs. The fire and the fury in the streets of Minneapolis overnight as violence broke out during protests over the killing of George Floyd. The latest death of a black American at the hands of police officers has ignited uprisings in at least 30 states. Hours later, from the Rose Garden, the president's message was just as stern. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. During that message, military-style vehicles filled with National Guard troops were seen arriving outside the White House ahead of the city's nighttime curfew. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So as you guys can tell from the aura, the energy we are giving from this video, it's not usually how we always open up our videos with excitement. We're always hyping our videos because of what's going on in the world right now. There's so much chaos, violence, injustice. And we wanted to talk to you guys about what is going on and just educate you guys even more and also just give you guys our thoughts, our feelings, our opinion of what's going on because it's super important that we continue this movement and just continue sharing our opinions and thoughts about what is going on in the world right now in our nation in DC. As you guys may know, George Floyd has passed away on May 25th, 2020 and his life was taken away from a police officer. And we decided to do this video because we know our history, we know how much we have progressed, you know, with Martin Luther King and his famous speech, his advocation, you know, peacefully, Gandhi, we have a lot of history and we have progressed as a nation. But what we're seeing now is, has it truly progressed to a point where it's not seen as much? And the answer to that sadly is, we still see it. We see it every day, a lot. and. We are now seeing it more visually on social media and I think that's the most scary part because a lot of people have social media so we have all these different age groups that have been exposed to this video of George Floyd's passing and the incident. We have seen so many protests in DC and it has turned to violence and honestly with the violence that's going on I feel pretty neutral about it. I know why people are reacting in violence because we're tired. We're tired of these white supremacists feeling like they're superior when we're all human we shouldn't be treated differently because our skin color is black you know because black lives matter the reason why we haven't really advocated it outside was because of COVID-19 and you know since um, there's so much protest and rioting that is necessary and is happening right now in our nation and all over the world we would have loved to be a part of that but our parents are super strict with allowing us to be a part of that because of COVID and we know so many family members, so many friends who have gone through COVID or are currently, you know, facing those symptoms or have it right now. And don't feel bad because you're not out there protesting, being part of riots. Maybe you see your friends doing it, your family members, because I know I felt bad and you also mm -hmm. felt bad, you said as well, you shared that. Um, and there's so many things that you're able to do to support, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and you can be doing, you can be signing a petition, you can be voting because I know I don't want this 45th president to still be in leader. Hell no, right? We don't want that. I don't want that. There's also, you're also able to donate. There's so many organizations and agencies that are taking donations, you know, during this hard time in our nation, in our world. So those are so many things that you're able to do that you're able to support, right? Um, distance, if you're not, protesting writing and from the bottom of my heart I appreciate everyone who is being a part of a riot who is protesting you also can vote honestly if it wasn't for social media I would have not known that it's time to vote um, and it's crazy because everything that we're going through with COVID-19 and protesting and it going violently and it going peacefully is it's just crazy to me and the, the fact that our president hasn't really put an action to all of this it hurts me and the fact that I didn't know that it was so, that it was time to vote is really crazy because I'm always on top of the voting thing. Even when I couldn't vote, I knew what day it was. And today, 
yesterday, I did not know. It's really important to vote, and whether or not you're voting for the president, always know that it's important to vote for the senators or anybody below that title because they put in action and they can use that power in their advantage, good or bad. So you really gotta be careful and mindful about that. Yeah. With the violence that's going on right now, with the protests, we feel pretty neutral. I feel pretty neutral about it because I get why there is violence. I mean, with the Boston Tea Act, there was violence. What was wanted was gotten. I think that is what we're trying to portray now in 2020 with these protests. I'm a Gandhi type of person. I like the protest peacefully, but it is being violently right now in DC and we see it in the news. I'm here pretty neutral about it if you were to ask me. I am pretty neutral with violence and to some extent, right? Um, like violence is needed and chaos is needed to provide new structure and new laws, especially to the ones that are impacted the most. And we know our black brothers and sisters are impacted, have been impacted for a very long time. And we need to come in with violence and with chaos because we need to bring a new structure and we have to show leaders the world what is going on and we're coming in with violence because to be honest if we don't show some type of violence we're not going to be heard and they're not going to do nothing and hopefully with what is going on right now protesting writing something something becomes positive about what we're doing right if you guys um saw on twitter or even social like all over social media uh, that the 45th president i don't call him from his first or last name um, he actually was hiding in the white house with all the lights off and that just shows us that the commander chief the leader the one that's on top he is actually so terrified hiding like a snail in a shell right you know a lot of people have been saying all lives matter and we're aware that all lives do truly matter and that is however of course. yeah but however right now we are focusing on black lives matter movement the movement itself because black people african american are more likely to experience police brutality so with that all lives matter we're not really saying we're not for it we're just saying at this moment we're focusing on black lives matter you know our black sisters and brothers are always experiencing discrimination you know all that even when they go into a store who are who are the ones that are most likely to be appointed right or to be followed in a store our black sisters and brothers and it's just crazy it's, we have i've had enough of that like that is and that irritates me to be honest with you guys because someone should be allowed to have fun while they're shopping you know not being like not being followed like no that needs to stop as well and that's like a different conversation we would love to have we definitely want it to be a family youtube channel um like the normal ones that you see on youtube you know giving you guys inside of our lives because we always wanted to do that um and yeah we're so grateful for our 300 and something subscribers however you know we were like you know what we cannot not speak and put this on our youtube channel because everything that is going on is a history is a timeline and we really have to see the change the progress in our nation and We've seen so much change in DC and we're a part of history. And it's it's really crazy because you know we had our older generations telling us about their own history and that yeah. they faced it. And you know what? I didn't think that we were gonna be a part of history. And what I mean by this type of history, it it repeating itself. Yeah. In a way that I read upon it on books. And it's literally just repeating itself. So we're part of history and we're here to promote and educate and form many people that aren't well aware of what's going on especially in dc you're gonna say that we're in it together yeah. the best thing we can actually do is just become stronger continue educating people continue protesting writing be that because that is gonna show is gonna make our message stronger and just show leaders show the world what we really are about and what we want to um conquer with what we're doing right thank you guys for tuning in there comes a time where silence is betrayal and i definitely do agree in that whether it's a post whether you're sharing something sharing a video to somebody else silence is not going to take us anywhere we have to speak up and also guys don't forget that we also want to hear your thoughts what you're feeling during what's going on in the world right now and 
you know, share, even if it doesn't mean like, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, post on your Instagram stories, on your Snapchat. I know you guys have a lot of followers or have some followers that would appreciate just hearing you out. Our family to your family with lots of love. We are the Blanco family.